I guess you continue. Mm hmm Like, if I, I know way too much information, I know what happens to people who know too much. I'm not an idiot. You told me so much. That I can recite it right now if you ask me to. Now, I've said this before. After what has happened to me, you know, referencing Humane Labs, I could have turned around and told the cops about Michael and the Billy, but I didn't. And I could have turned around and uh, helped Bundy with his investigation, but I didn't. I wanted nothing to do with it. And I told him that straight up. I, I didn't give him anything. Bundy is a different ballpark. He's the smartest person I fucking know. So, <laughs> I know all of this information, whether you think I will tell or not, is still a risk. Like you said, I'm a risk. I'm unpredictable. So if I turn around and say no to you, or you know, whether it be about Bass or Brian, just overall, a big fat no. I'm not an idiot. I know something will happen to me, whether it be just once or several times whether it just be for a week or several months. I don't want to risk my life. I don't want to risk the life of Bryce. I don't want to risk Colin's emotional, you know, well-being. Because I know that you wouldn't touch Colin. Because you care about him, right? But it doesn't mean you can't emotionally fuck him up. He's a human being after all. I don't know about you. I mean, are you human? Like, what? what are you? I want you to know one thing. I was the one that picked Humane Labs. I was the one that knew that they would be able to find you there. And I was the one that returned. I don't want I'm the one that walks down that highway when you do to look for you. I'm the one that extended out a hand when I saw you at your weakest. You can tell me that you're strong. You can tell me that you're surrounded by a friend group. And I know you say that Bryce is your rock and he's there for you right now. If he was your rock and he cared for you, he wouldn't leave you when you need you the most. You are very fragile right now. And I'm not saying you need someone else to hold you there. You're also a very strong, independent person, but even the strongest of us need someone to be there beside them. And I haven't left you. If you don't want to kill Bass for me, that's fine. I can do it myself. I don't need you. I just wanted to do it with you. I can't hurt Tessa like that because I know what it feels like to lose a dad I can't do that and I'm not talking about Colin Tess is the kindest person I know that will put others before her she's one of those good ones she's not corrupt by any means she thinks about the bigger picture she will never hurt a soul I mean for God's sake she's a park ranger but most importantly, she cares and she listens. And for some reason, her father is the total opposite of her. I don't want someone else to go through what I went through when I lost my dad. Because it is the worst feeling in the entire fucking world. Brian Knight, however, is a completely different thing. And I know what you were trying to do. You never, you never outright said, uh, if you don't do this, then the BBMC are going to make Colin shoot you. You never said that, but you definitely insinuated it. And with Dundee, when there's a will, there's a way. You don't need to, to convince him to do something. You just plant the idea in his brain and he does it because he is chaos.
I don't know what happened to that man besides the vast situation. I don't know what other shit has happened to him. But there's a reason why he is the way that he is right now. And even if I did take your hand and follow you down the highway and work with you rather than for you, what makes you think Dundee is going to give a shit? Because I don't know what leverage you have, but when it comes to the president of the BBMC, sorry, prime minister of the BBMC, he is Australian after all, he's going he's gonna to find a way and no one's going to convince him otherwise. If he wants to do something, whether I walk that highway with you, no matter how fucked up I am, whether I become a serial killer or whatever, every, every, you know, quote unquote, bad thing under the sun, Dante's going to find a way. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me. Since I've literally been nothing but kind to Dundee since I moved to the city. What did he tell you before you were shot? I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember. Because I know that. I know he told a lie because I could hear it. We all heard it. I had the intention of coming back and saving you. He said, he said that he voted against it. Dundee was the one that got us to go there. And while I understand from a Bondi boy point of view, we don't take any risks. Colin had to watch his daughter get shot. I had to watch someone that I care about and someone that I am slowly falling in love with get shot. What? I don't want you to just walk the highway to what? do my bidding. I want to walk that highway with you. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You... <laughs> I need I need a moment. I I need a moment. Wh what? Wait, oh my god, my brain is fucked. My brain is, my brain is fucked. Bryce is so dead. Yes, he is. I don't, I, so this is the tricky part. Is, is Pez genuine about this or is he just trying to get in Cleo's head? That's the thing. You 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 don't get to just drop that on me. That is that is bullshit if I if I if I that is that is that is absolute fucking bullshit, Pez. You threw me in the ocean. You're 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 stating that you were there when that shit happened and and you're asking near impossible of me, and then you're 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 telling me that you're falling for me. Like, why does everyone keep fucking with me? Holy fucking shit! Like, what did I actually do to deserve this fucking shit? 
Just tell me a logical reason as to why you're fucking with me and why you want to use me and why you want to manipulate me. Because you're not stupid. You're far from that. So why please. are you so convinced that I'm trying to do something to mess with you? Because there is no reason why you would want to work with me or why you would want to help me. There is no reason. You survived an ocean dumping. You just survived a bullet in the head. You are, you are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. Oh, I am. And guess what? I'm a lot smarter than you think I am after being hunted by literal terrorists for two fucking months. I know how people like you work. And what are people like me? What am I? Someone that just wants to take advantage of someone who's clearly vulnerable. I don't doubt that. I don't deny the fact that I'm vulnerable. Of course I am. But what have I threatened you with? You never outright threatened me, but you definitely insinuated, Pez. You definitely when? tried to get in my head. In the cells, when you said, do you want to watch your back for the rest of your life? You know, and Colin potentially being forced to shoot me. I was more referring to the danger that you're currently in. The danger and, that you tell me about. Yes, and but that how are you going to change you. that? How are you going to change that, huh? Like I said with the whole past thing, you just have to trust me. Look, I, I called Dundee a very... No, I didn't call him. I actually ran into him a very long time ago. And I asked about what happened. And he some... You know, he told me to a certain extent. And I told him that I would do everything in my power to get that man removed from his position. That never changed. Of course I want Bass removed from Chief of Police. Who doesn't? It's fucking Bass for the love of God. And he's stating that, oh, he's changed and he'd never do anything like that again. Yeah, he hired Mr. K. And someone like Bloom was on, uh, who is apparently on thin ice because he investigated that corruption. Bass hasn't changed. Believe me, I have every reason to go to Bass and fucking do whatever. But I already told you. Tessa is a very important person in my life. You're, you're not fooling for me. There is no reason for you to do that. For you to feel that way. You don't know me. If you think Pez is falling for you, I think you're clearly mistaken. My, you, you just keep fucking with my brain. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? It's the second time you've done that. Let me now. tell you a story. Have a seat. I've, I've told you about my childhood, right? Oh God. Sort of. <laughs> I love this. I love the way she's sitting. I... killed my brother just recently. I blame Cindy Tipton. But in reality, I wanted him gone. Who's your brother? Pez. Huh? So you're Pez. He literally tweeted me today. He literally says it on Twitter. Pez Speedwagon. Mm hmm. Your father, Barry, D. They know Pez is dead. The one person Pez cared more about anyone in this world was Cindy. And the day that she chose to give him up for Avago was the day that I let him die. 
you can call me the highway man you can call me a murderer a psycho or cody but the moment you emerged from that ocean and i ran into you at uwu i knew you had fighting you And look, I'm not asking you to walk down the highway with me because I want you to kill Bass just for my own gain. I want you to help me because I know you're capable of helping me. You have someone that has been scorned, hurt, and torn apart by the people you love and the people you trusted, just like my father did to me and Pez. Just like Dundee did to Pez when he took his leg. That's why I took over. I'm telling you this. It's because I know you're capable of helping me. I'm capable of helping you. Yeah, it was a little forward to bring this up to you, but when's a better time to drop this on you? So you're not Pez. How long have you not have been you ever heard Pez of spiritual for? connection? Like tarot cards and, and no, it's more and... so that a lot of people say that twins. It's like a supernatural event sometimes that twins can feel what each other's going through. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But when Pez was the only one to survive the childbirth, he felt me and I reached out and I attached. And ever since then, I've been living with Pez. And I fucking hated it. I had to watch him have every opportunity that I was robbed from. And even on that, I had to sit there and watch our shit father beat us senseless because mum died during childbirth. I might tell myself that I protected Pez and killed dad because I loved him, but in reality, Pez dies, I die. And after that moment, I swore to hide away because I wasn't going to go kill people and have Pez suffer the consequences for that. The day that Dundee took Pez's leg was the day that he cracked. The day that Pez cracked and I came back out. And slowly and slowly and surely I was taking over and I was going to kill Dundee. I was going to, I, I was going to smear his body all up and down that billabong and I know I can do it. But turns out my chaos and Dundee's chaos are pretty much in line. Sure, this is not something you want to be hearing for someone that just confessed their love to you, but while I don't think our stories match up, I still see us having a similar result. People that we loved, people that we trusted betrayed us and that circle got smaller and smaller. But for me, that circle got bigger once I realized how useful how caring and nurturing the BBMC are towards this type of chaos. And if you don't think you're sitting in that same vein of chaos that me and Dundee are sitting, you are blind. You know, for the longest time, I thought chaos pursued me because I was vulnerable. Ah. But I poke the bear. I... I did. I walked around with boots way too big for me. But... 
When chaos pursues you, there are two things. You can either suffer within that chaos or you can embrace that chaos. I don't think I'm far alike from you guys in that sense. But at the same time, you guys aren't the heroes. No, there are no such thing as heroes and villains, especially in Los Santos. But if we were to label it, you guys aren't the heroes. Oh, we're the villains. Oh, I know that very well. But who are the heroes? Can you point a finger and point to someone that hasn't broken the law? Someone that hasn't hurt someone? Someone that hasn't done something out of greed? It's not a good city we live in. And I think, frankly, everyone in this city is fostered by it. It's... It's nothing but a hunting ground and the strongest survive. But because we have to live in it, and I've chosen my family to protect me and protect them, and I've got the means to do it, and I'm sure, and I'm sure Bass knew who I was the day he saw me up on top of that tower. And he knows what I'm fucking capable of. That he is 20 times worse than whatever I can do. He is risking our way of life. And this is the one time I'm not thinking about myself. I'm not doing this for my own personal gain. And I'm telling you this. Why would I put someone that I care about and just use leverage over it? Now, I can just, I get that. I can just say that, I can just drop this bomb on you. You could just be saying this. you to go... That's right, and you can There's go, no oh. evidence backing it up. You know what I'm like. I used to be a cop. I love detective work. I go for information. I find out information, even if it's bad for me. Just for my own personal fucking benefit, for my own gain, for my own conscience. I want to know that information. I don't ever use information as leverage for someone. I don't ever fucking manipulate that information for whatever the fuck I want. I'm not that kind of person, even though I've been called an emotional terrorist and a manipulator and toxic but i know i know what information does to people so where is the evidence where is the backing for the words that you say how do i believe you how do i know that bryce isn't gonna get hurt because <laughs> well, let me just entertain this you're you, you God, this sounds so fucking ridiculous. If you're, in, if you're in love with me, let's just, let's just, let me just say, yeah, okay, for, for the entertainment purposes, I believe you. Okay, you're in love with me. I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with someone completely different. How do I know that person's safe? I will turn this city upside fucking down for that guy. You want to know why I was hunted? Because I saw revenge when he got hurt for no reason. Look where I am now. Hmm? Constantly watching my back. Expecting Dundee to strike or someone else to strike if I'm seen with Colin. Now, now uh, the the individuals that hunted me, I don't have to worry about them one bit. I am absolutely a thousand percent safe. There is no problem there. I can put my life on that. But no, people put me in a fucking box. Because it's fun for them. For me to get used for their own fucking gain or their entertainment they get off on this fucking bullshit so god forbid that i don't believe you not because of my own self-doubts believe me i'm a very self-conscious individual i have to keep reminding myself that colin cares about me when that shit is unconditional i 
Now I'm not I'm not asking you to prove shit to me because that's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of time that you probably don't have. But I am not convinced. I'll leave you with this. If my actions haven't proven it so far. Just think. That day in Humane Labs. Who was the one that came back for you? And it wasn't Colin. <laughs>